Hi guys, I'm documenting a rare moment when every single game in my game room is working. So, <laughs> started today, my zookeeper was down, but I got it up and running with a lot of help from a friend. I installed the uh, J Rock FPGA board in Zookeeper, and it is happy. So that's going to be rock solid from now on. I'm thrilled about that. Last time I shot a video, my joust was down. It turned out to be a RAM error. A single 4116 chip had gone bad. I replaced that, and it was up and running. Zookeeper's been flaky for months, and we finally figured that out last weekend. Uh, the plus five was low, and luckily, uh, Okert had rebuilt my linear power supply a few years ago and when he did he installed a pot on the plus five to make it adjustable so we just dialed up the, I think the plus five was at like 4.7 or something or a little over dialed it up to just over five and it fired right up and it's been solid so that's awesome game room tv got my dvd of man vs snake that's an awesome movie you guys should check it out if you get the chance Man, this whole row of games has been solid for a while now. I haven't had any issues. Tutankham crapped out on me about a year ago. Turned out to be the board set. Something fried on that. Got a different board set. Replaced the power supply. Monitor tanked before that. Replaced the monitor. So basically all the guts in Tutankham have been swapped out, but at least it runs. crawl has been happy for a long time. Rescue hasn't really given me any issues. Crystal Castles. I put a new Hat Vision Pro monitor in this sucker when I first got it. Every now and then it loses one of the color guns, but when I fired it up a minute ago to do this video, it came up perfectly. First time in a while, because for the last couple of months, every time I've turned it on, it was missing one of the colors, and must have sensed I was about to uh, put it on film and talk about it, so the sucker's working fine. Millipede's not giving me any issues. My Empire's been in surprisingly stable. I have a Vector Labs Multi I need to install on that one of these days. I've been lazy and just been sitting on that ever since I bought it. I've had it on the shelf for probably a couple of years. <laughs> I really need to get that in there now. My Kicks had a 412 in one in it that burned itself up, apparently. Um, it'll boot up and work for a little while, and then it'll lock up, and then the video will go away completely. So I think it just is faulty. I put my original 16 board back in, and it fired right up. It's been rock solid reliable ever since I've had it, and I've had that 16 board for eight years. So I may or may not get another 412 and one to give it another shot at some point. If that one dies, then I'll just move it back to the 16 and one and call it good. But I'm thinking about that. Centipede's been solid ever since I changed out the monitor. It had a K7000 in it that was just a bitch. It wouldn't. It just wouldn't cooperate. It kept going down constantly. We capped it, put a new flyback on it. And it just wasn't happy. And finally threw a G07 in there. And Centipede has not been heard from since. It just works perfectly. My Black Widow's been perfectly stable the entire time I've owned it. I'm just got to finish the cabinet. The sides are bare wood. I got this. <clears throat> this was an unfinished restore that I got from DJW90 out in Spokane. And uh, he sold. He gave me a good price on it because he, he aborted the, uh, the restore because he got a nicer one. Then he, he finished the other one and kept it and sold me this one. That broken piece on the side of the control panel I do have. I did that myself, unfortunately. I just caught it on something and ripped it off, but I've got it. So that's fixable. But at some point, I'll get, get the uh, the repro side art on it, and I'll get some T-molding, finish this thing up. My Arabian is beautiful. Love this game. Everybody who says Arabian sucks, uh, you don't know what you're talking about. You're just terrible at it and too lazy to learn how to play it. So there. <laughs> and I got a nice bag, man. Same here. Brutally difficult game. And yes, I suck at it too, but I don't care. Great game. Perfect game for... Uh, owners for uh, private ownership, in my opinion. If you have a home game room and you like classic era games, Bagman is brutally difficult. That's a good long-term challenge. You, uh, you want games like that in your game room, I think, at least a few of them. You know, Robotron and Centipede and all those are fun, but geez, you know, you, <laughs> you can get really good at those. And then what then? You know, I guess you just enjoy playing the game. If you've, if you've mastered it, that's that's cool. But I like, uh, I like having some that are tougher enough to crack. It'll take years of practice. This uh, converted Neo Geo used to be a front line. It was originally a front line. You can see from the side, you know, the black vinyl is missing on one side. I got it this way. Somebody converted it into a Neo Geo one slot, which I liked. It's a smaller cabinet. I didn't want a gigantic 25 inch monitor. And it's perfect for me. I got a 138 in one card in it and it works great. 
really like having that. I've thought at times about selling it, and then I come to my senses and realize it's pretty smart to have that because I like it. Got a small table with computer set up with internet access when I need it. I like my little strobe that puts the, the dots on the ceiling. That's pretty cool. And all the ceiling lights are on dimmer switches, so they're adjustable. This used to be my Nintendo row. I had Mario Brothers wide body, Donkey Kong, and Donkey Kong Jr. And the DK Jr. I traded away for a, ten, uh, a Taito 10 star, which is over there by Zookeeper. Good trade, in my opinion. I do miss my Jr. a little bit, but 10 star is harder to find, and it's a great, great game, really fun. I love Conco Bongo. I know people don't like the isometric 3D, but again, I say get over it, have fun. My Donkey Kong, I've done nothing to other than rebuild the monitor, or I swapped out the monitor for one that I'd rebuilt, and it looks perfect. And my wide body Mario Brothers, the monitor needs to be rebuilt. It's got a healthy hum going on. Can you hear that? I sure can. You can't hear the, when the attract modes aren't going on the other games. That's the loudest thing in the room is that, that buzz. You can hear it everywhere. So I got to I got to recap that monitor on the audio board. And, the, and this cabinet could use some new T molding. The original T moldings on there is yellowed and chipped in places. And I wouldn't go overboard on this cabinet, but I, I think new T molding and rebuilding the monitor, and I'd call it good. The side art's there. It's like 90, 98, 99 percent there. And why mess with a good thing? I think it's pretty nice the way it is. It plays great. All right, so that's 27 uprights all working at once. And I have a Dragon's Lair project cabinet, so I don't count that because I bought it as a project cab. And it's sitting out here in the hallway. I believe it's complete except for the player and the, uh, the disc, and I don't need either of those because I have a Dexter with the Dragon's Lair trilogy on it. So at some point I'll... Uh, Rebuild the power supply and check everything out and try to get that up and running. But I hope to have a Dragon's Lair Multi running in my game room at some point. I'm waiting on the final Merlin Dexter, the Merlin DX code. Uh, Sean Wood's waiting on Matt Ownby, as I understand it, uh, to finish up some things on that. And then I'll get a Merlin DX and then I can get going on that project. But everything else is working. And that's awesome. All right, guys, that's it. Today is September 17th, 2016. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Thanks. Bye.